Okay, here is the story. I own 2012 GMC Acadia. Suddenly, the ECU got crazy and I got many check engine errors with no such mechanical issues. So it's time for a replacement. I was not able to find a used ECU in the market here. And the dealer here selling the new one around $550. This is without even programming fees. So I looked for a used one on eBay and I found two options. One is non-programmed and the other one is fully programmed, which they call it plug and play. Then I decided to go with the fully programmed option, uh, which will save some money for me as the programming fees will cost me around $170. Two weeks later, the EC received, so I put it in place and just plugged the three connectors and started the engine and voila, it's working fine. And the car back to life again. But there is a check engine light coming on the dashboard. So I bring the my OBD blue driver scanner, just plug it in, and I found the, the check engine code B0315, which is crankshaft position system variation not learned. Then I searched the internet and contacted the company that supplied me the ECU. The conclusion is there are two ways to do this relearn a case. Number one, using a professional scanner tool that has this capability. Number two, which is not requiring any scanner tool, which is long eight steps. These eight steps I received it from the company and also I found it in the internet. Uh, number one, and before starting uh, the process, you should be sure that the air intake sensor reading, temperature reading, it's uh, only five degree difference between the coolant temperature sensor reading. So step number one, which is you should turn off all the accessories, the EC, and uh, close the hood. And I don't know if the headlights are one of the accessories or not, but I tried with or without the headlights. Uh, and then you put the car in the parking and you start the car for two minutes. Step number two, which after the two minutes warming up the car, you should cruise the car to 50 miles uh, per hour. This is for 8 to 10 minutes. Step number 3, which is you should keep this speed and maintaining this speed. It's not mentioned with or without cruise control, but I tried both to uh, keep this 55 mile per hour for another 5 to 6 minutes. Step number 4, which is you should decelerate the speed from 55 to 45 mile per hour without hitting the brake and keep this for one minute. Uh, step number four, which you should do four cycle of deceleration from 45 to uh, whatever a certain speed. It's not exactly mentioned what speed should decelerate to. So just pick up any speed and decelerate from 45 to that speed and go back again to 45 mile per hour and keep this 45 for 25 uh, seconds and this cycle we have to do it four times. Step number six, so you should accelerate again to 50 miles per hour and keep this speed for two minutes. Final step, which is you should stop the car, just pull over and keep the gear on D. Do not put it on parking. And we keep hitting the brake. This is for two minutes. It's not mentioned exactly in the, this instruction uh, uh, if the error will just go off or something like this but I did this as I mentioned four times and nothing happened and finally I had to take the car to uh, a garage that having this scanning tool and actually they did it in five minutes and this cost me around 60 extra dollar Th that's what I'm sharing the video with you guys uh, if you gone through this manual relearn the case and you succeeded please share with us thanks for watching